it's Joy here bringing you my very first I Am Roses designer project and before I proceed I want to thank Puma and Arlene for having me on the design team so um, let me put this aside first so I can show you the material that I used on my project I altered this A4 size paper plastic box that I got from my local school supply store so as you can see it's all plain and um, what I did on this was I painted all the sides even on the back with um, gesso and um, let me show you the finished project so here it is um, it's very girly and pretty and um, I'm proud of myself because I finally made something for my daughter so um, the theme is princess and let me show you the details closely so it's very dimensional as you can see and I use a lot of laces here and um, pearls and rhinestones all the rhinestones over here and the um, beautiful flourish that I got from a rack also these um, this hanging charms they're so pretty and um, this um, flower center I made this one also this and all the sprays that I used here on this um, altered project so this is a um, journaling paper from Prima and I believe this is the um, Anali journaling um, paper so um, and here's a chipboard um, alpha and what I did here was I used um, let me grab the stuff that I used there So I used this um, pearl pen from um, Viva Decor and it's made in Germany and it, this one is similar to Ranger's um, Liquid Pearl so um, this is a great product and um, try it out and um, that's what I used so um, on the crown I used um, the Maya Road crown stamp set and I just embossed it and then um, this lace is from my friend Rika and also no um, I mean this um, lace is uh, I got it from my local store so that's the front and on the side there are two very beautiful buttons that I got from Rika she sh she sent it to me and the, the trim here was glimmer misted with um, mustard seed and cream de rouge so that's that and it's very very nice so I'm going to open this one and on the closure there's this butterfly and um, this is from the Inca Dinkadu um, inchy stamps so I used the one on the middle sorry for the glare and we open this up like that and there's two layouts inside so let me show you the first one first so it is very shabby chic and what I like is I love the color and all the coordinating um, embellishments and other stuff so here's the dress form and I sew this um, lace using the same um, lace like this one on the front and the pattern paper here is from DCWV it's the Mariposa collection paper so 
that's that and this one is just a plain thin um, chipboard that I dry embossed using C6 embossing folder and then I distressed the edges with scissors and distressed it with walnut stain distress ink and then I also glimmer misted this with mustard seed and no um, I mean creme de rouge and this is a um, tie cut that I used using the C6 die and I think this is called postage die so that's that and this is a Prima stamp I use a Prima stamp on this butterfly and here's a dangling heart and it's perf perfectly uh, placed on this um, dress form so I like that and here's the banner that says precious and I use this Martha Stewart um, border punch so as you can see very pretty and then also here I use the um, recital Prima stamp I hope you can see that and here's the Inka Dinka Doodle um, lamp stamp and this flower here is the I Am Roses GB3 so pretty I stickle all the petals and uh, there's just the um, word adorable that I hand cut and on the next page is a castle this is actually a wooden castle that I got from my local craft, craft store and here's the fan again I use this um, border punch for the edges and um, I wrap this beautiful lace on top of it and then I use this I forgot the code of this um, flower spray from I Am Roses, but all the flowers I used here and um, the materials will be posted on my blog, and the flower codes will be posted on this um, on the description below. So check that out. So let me show you this um, Maya Road stamp. This is a crown and the trim here is from Re um, Elaine I think yeah also this one so on this castle I used um, gesso I painted it first and then I used this modeling paste this one so I basically um, used I used um, a stencil brush and then I tap the um, the modeling paste on it and then I heat dry it so you can see a very cool um, texture it gives me those bubbles and let me know if you want um, me to do a tutorial I can do that so try out this modeling paste um the brand is plus and it's a korean um stuff so i hope you can find yours in your local craft store and then over here um this is the chasey one crochet flower and this flourish is actually part of a beautiful lace and I just cut out the part that has this so I um, just um, stick up on this thing so and here's the um, tag that says a simple moment with you is a lifetime treasure so I love that code and over here is this beautiful gardenia um, and the code for this one is GB3 
and again I use stickles on the petals and I also sew this um, beautiful trim over here and um, more sprays that I made and here um, as you can see all the da dangling um, pearl heart shapes there and I just um, attach it to this um, gold trim and it says um, treasure moments and these two flowers over here they are actually um, on a bride so I'll show you how to do that too if you want and here's my dangling um, handmade charm so when we open this um, castle what's inside is a photo mat over here and on the back of the castle so very 3d and it's very functional and oh I forgot I use my sakura white gel pen and I just draw that lines over here just to make it um, look like um, 3d so when you um, see it's look it looks like um, it's pop out so that's that and oh let me tell you that what's holding this is a hinge over here and I use brads so at the back there's this lace and you can see the bread right there so I just cover it and it's just this um, thing that says handmade with love mama so um, thank you for um, watching ladies and let me know if you have um, questions so thank you very much and bye